the movement of the arms does not just come from your shoulders, it comes from your back and your lats. Activate. The first thing you need to do is activate your back. And to do that, mommy's gonna lift her arms out to second, turn her palms out to the ceiling, and then squeeze her elbows down into her waist by keep, and keeping the shoulders down so that... Turn around and show you. Yes. So, keeping those shoulders down. You want to activate your rhomboids, your lats, and keep your shoulders sitting nicely into the shoulder blades. Keep your head back up on your spine. Pull in the ribs, pull in the tummy. When you float your arms up to first, again, you're going to float from the lat, from the back. Float your arms up and lift your elbows just a bit so that the center of your elbows are, are facing each other keeping everything down, moving from the back, then your elbows lifted and rounded, then your wrists and then your hands extend out. So it's a nice line. The way to test if everything is working actually is to lift your arms to fifth. As you lift, you want to have this lifting feeling, but your shoulders pulling down, so it's opposing forces in a way. There you go, lovely. You have to connect with your back first before you even lift your arms and then as you connect with your back, your shoulders will stay down and your arms will go. Perfect. And that's always a good check, actually. When you're in fifth, you can always say, oh, are my shoulders up? Yes. yes. And then you can pull them down into the back. That worked well. Good.